Okay, okay, I'm really, really hoping these people's mics is not too disruptive. I'm not sure how it's gonna work out. Because I I don't think I've done a PS3 video with people that are on mics and talking before. But I have done a video with uh, people on mics on Street Fighter on Xbox before. And that's... Oh, shit. Somebody... This, this motherfucker over here ain't paying no damn attention. They have unlimited characters. I, I'm 90% certain this dude has picked unlimited Coconut. I don't know. Um, are we gonna end up pick? Are we gonna have to go with unlimited Tager? I just see this is this is stupid of me to be doing this, but I'm trying to play it like all different times a day. Today is my test day. I'm trying to play it a bunch of different times. So I tried right when I got home from work, which was about uh 10:30 in my in the morning in the a.m. for me. Mr. Manga Shinigami is right there. Uh, I didn't find any other matches. I didn't. There was nobody play. There was basically nobody playing. There were like four lobbies total. I played him, but unfortunately, he's a zero bar connection. So uh, I I apologize, but I didn't record it. And so now, here we are. Oh. Wait. So like. So like. <laughs> Like, I mean, if I'm reading that correctly, that was basically, in, that's an infinite, right? Like, if she can just keep shooting those, that's literally infinite block stun. He's just, he's just very bad at doing infinite block stun. But yeah, that would be infinite block stun, so you'd basically either get chipped out. I mean, I guess she does have that meter, but the meter wasn't draining very fast. Man, because Unlimited Kokonoe too also has, you know, like they made Kokonoe. Yeah, she's never out of block stun. That all actually combos. Not that it's doing any fucking damage, but still, it all actually combos. He has plenty more of that meter. But yeah, this is because that's the thing with Unlimited characters on top of that. Like, they're the unnerfed vert. They didn't do anything to the Unlimited characters in the balance patch, which obviously, I mean, why would they? It'd be kind of. There's no point in it. It's not like anybody uses them competitively. Nobody really uses them in general. So who gives a shit about that? Do you get the unlimited versions of these characters? Like, the moment you, um... Like, the DLC characters? Are they just... I Actually, I should check that out with Tsurumi. To see if I have unlimited Tsurumi. Or if you do still have to unlock them like normal, even though they're DLC characters. Yeah, run it black. Run it black. Run it back, Platinum. But yeah, I don't know why I'm doing this, especially today, because, like, basically, I said I was tired yesterday. Two days ago, actually, by the time I posted this, I got another Street Fighter video. Um, so, I, that was that was the second day. Basically, my, my world of tiredness works like so. Body. Not body. Should have been body. Not body. Platinum got body. Um... Oh, that did no damage. That's what I'm Yo, just lay down the fucking, just lay down the portal, the, the fucking magnet shit, and just throw fireballs. She's gonna run out of barrier. It's gonna kill her, and you get to chip her out. Come on, son. I don't even like Kokonoa, and I can think that shit through. But yeah, so basically, first day, I'm basically unaffected. Like, I can go basically one night without sleeping at all, and there's no effect to me personally. It just It's irrelevant to my life and everything about it. It just doesn't matter. Um. Am I gonna get kicked? What a bitch! You're a bitch. Wait, let me just, let me just, let me just, let me just. Should I? Should I? Should nah? Not worth it. Cause they'll take it seriously. I might just mean it trolling. So yeah, I'm out of, I'm out of, an, I'm out of an option now. That was my option. So yeah, first day unaffected. I can go for a day without sleep. Or with very little sleep. Second day, I will be, I will be screwed. Like I'll just be incredibly tired that entire day. Nothing really happens. I'm just gonna be tired. Third day, which is today, I'm not really like I'm not. I'm not tired. I don't feel tired at all. But there's like a pressure in my head. I can just like it. Feel, it's not really like I, I don't want to say it qualifies as a headache. I mean, nobody plays this game anymore. 
It's 1.30 p.m. on a Sunday afternoon. And there's nobody. Two more weeks. Just two more damn weeks and we got Persona. If not for, if not for that little bitch. If not, for, if not for that little bitch that's gone. But yeah, like, if you're gonna kick me, at least don't make me sit around and watch a fucking match. But yeah, I was gonna go back into the room and just call the dude a bitch. But then, like I said, the person would, they take it personally because they're... Because they're... People in general are babies. Just throw up a one there. So I've never had... I've never had a... Zero bar connection in this one has been good. Anyway. So yeah, third... But I'm also... I get kind of zany. I get weird. That's just it. But I'm not... I don't feel tired. I don't feel like, you know, oh man, I really should go to sleep. Like if I actually lie down right now, I'd probably pass out within like two minutes. But I don't feel tired. And I just get weird. So I apologize if I'm a little weird right now. But yeah, today's been... today just been a weird day. Today's just been a weird day. I found, um... Uh... I found forty dollars on on the ground outside one of the stores that I worked in. So obviously, being the good person that I am, I just took it up and I was like, "Hey, uh, here's this." And they just kind of looked at me like, and they asked they the cashier that I gave it to, and I was just like, "Yo," because I know like if you're if you work for a store, if you find money on the ground, you will literally be fired if you don't turn that money in, and you know so somebody can potentially claim it. So I handed it to a cashier knowing that, and she looked at me like I was the dumbest person alive, and she was like, why wouldn't you keep this? You found it. Are you sure you don't want to keep this? Like, yeah, I'm, I'm a good person. Like, that's not my fucking money. Of course I'm not going to keep it. What the hell? Like, what kind of person are you? What is wrong with you? And so, and then I get to uh, another one of my stops, and this was this is not one of my regular stops at this point in time. This is one of my... Uh, this is an additional one that I just helped out with today because like, I don't know what the other... They never actually tell me why the other person got the day off and why I'm helping out. They just tell me, go there and help. So I went there and helped and they had another person uh, that was on a route in the same area just drop that other person's orders at all the stores. And so I went in and I worked everything. The manager came up and just like yelled at me for a good five minutes. Five minutes! just non-stop about how irresponsible our company is and how it's how uh we we they can't go a day without getting a delivery because he knows he's seen me before he knows i don't do deliveries that i just come in and work and i like i was like no hold up they somebody came in and dropped an order you got an order today and he was like don't fucking interrupt me let me fucking finish and so i literally either i had to be a childish motherfucker and like yell over him which i can do I got a loud ass voice, but I'm not about to do that because that's, I am not, I'm not that childish and plus I get paid hourly, so let this dude go fucking nuts on me and I'll just stand there and not pay attention to it and get paid. But still, like this dude was going bonkers on me, would not let me say anything and by the time he finished he's like, so what do you have to say for you? Why, why am I not getting a delivery today? Like I said before, in the middle of your tirade, you got a delivery this morning. They just didn't stick around to work it. I'm here to work it. You got a delivery. Like, go, like, before you fucking yell at me, go look at your damn shelf. <laughs> like, if there are sh a shit ton of holes there, product missing everywhere, by all means, chew me out. It's still not my fault, but at least I would understand it. But don't fucking go bonkers on me when your entire shelf is full. There is not a single empty spot on the entire shelf. There's nothing running like drastically low to the point that you're going to sell it out. And you'll sit there and you yell at me for like five minutes without even knowing what the fuck is going on and you're a manager of a store? How do people in this world get paid like that? Fuck! And so then the third thing, driving on my way home, I get to a four-way intersection near my, uh, ironically, blaring blaring bend over by little john i'll get into i'll get into the re lil john not little john lil john um i'll get into why i was listening to that in a second since we we're apparently gonna have all the fucking time in the world thanks to that bitch that kicked me i'm gonna look up that dude's username and i'm literally just gonna put that in the in the let's see because i know a lot of people like search out their gamer tags to see if like people have posted uh videos of them before so I am so going to put this dude's gamer tag and just put like dude's a bitch. Guarantee you he won't watch this, but like 
if he find if he is one of those kinds of people that will search his own shit, and the kind of person that would use unlimited coconoe is the kind of egotistical motherfucker that's gonna search their own damn name on Google and find my video, and then he's gonna be like, "You gonna call me a bitch? You gonna call me like you're not even not even gonna watch this? Not even gonna understand that I'm just doing it for shits and giggles?" Um, but anyway, yeah. What where that tangent? Fucking random ass tangents. So driving on my way home, get to a four way intersection. There were three cars before me. There were like. 27 not actually that many but probably a good like eight cars coming the opposite way every single like nobody really ever turns at this intersection it's basically uh an intersection that leads into a resi residential district or out of a residential district and into um like one of the main roads of the city that i live in and so nobody really turns because the only reason you would have to turn is if you live in that area if you have a house on that road so almost nobody ever turns in the first place. So I get up to my turn. Other dude gets up to his turn. We both start going. This dude starts to turn. And then he, you know, I just keep going because I don't give a shit about my car. I really don't. Like, that's basically the one-up I got on everybody else. This is not a car I intend to keep for the rest of my life. Like, yeah, sure, I should care about resale value, blah, blah, blah. But it's not a very expensive car to begin with. It's a Chevrolet Impala. It's not a big resale car. Um... So, like, that's the one-up I got, is I just don't give it. Like, you, if you, if we are going to impact, I guarantee you, you are going to care more than me. And that's not my fault at that situation. Because there were, like, 80 fucking witnesses that saw this motherfucker wasn't using his turn signal. There was no way to know this dude was going to turn. And so he starts to turn, almost sideswipes me, and he starts yelling at me. He flips me off, and I'm sitting there like, how are people this stupid? I, I, that would not have happened if you had just taken the tenth of a second out of your life to flip your turn signal and make it work. But this homie is screaming at me like bloody murder, like it's my fault? Is it bad? But I just, you know, I just drove on by and I just stared at him. I stared at him down and I said, bitch, do something. I didn't say it. But I stared at him like, bitch, do something. You ain't gonna do nothing. And he didn't. But still, like, how do you... How are you so out of touch with, like, everything to do with human decency that you are literally going to try and blame me for this situation? Like, I have never seen people that are just so generally dumb in most situations than drivers. Like, drivers in general are so incredibly ignorant and stupid. But the thing is, I don't really get that judgmental about that shit because a lot of the time like if just if somebody does something stupid because like if that dude had started to turn and then stopped and then like you know he'd kind of just been like oh shit i forgot my turn signal god damn it go ahead keep going whatever my bad then i wouldn't have been like you stupid motherfucker because i know i've been in that situation i've been to a point where like i'm so tired and absent-minded i fuck things up sometimes that normally i would never fuck up and it makes me look stupid you never know what somebody's situation is in life that could potentially cause this issue that just came up and so that's why a lot of the times you know i don't get i don't really get all overly judgmental about shit like that just because like i said you don't know you don't know what they're going through you know you don't know this motherfucker that's driving recklessly doesn't have a pregnant wife in in the in the passenger seat you don't know like maybe they just got a phone call that like their kid is in the hospital or something like i'd be reckless in that situation too sure it's unlikely it is probably more likely that that person's just an asshole but god damn dude nobody Nobody is playing this game. Why don't you just join my lobby, asshole? Unless you're a zero bar connection, in which case you're just gonna suck. But I gotta get I gotta get you I gotta get you guys a match. So um So yeah. And today was a weird day. But anyway, so the reason why I was listening to Lil John and Bend Over didn't even know that song existed until today. Um My iPod broke. I know I know. I mentioned this, I think, in a Street Fighter video earlier. My iPod broke recently. And so I had to get a replacement. And me being stupid, the I got I got a refurbished uh, iPod from GameStop. Because it was one of the... Because, you know, they have a rock-solid return policy. Right? So, like, if it does come in and it does have issues, then, hey, they got the return or exchange policy if there's a problem with it. Lo and behold, there was a problem with it. The headphone jack was... Whenever... Like, if the iPod was perfectly stable, it worked perfectly. But in any other situation, like, if I was 
working out, if I was just walking around, if there was any, if the iPod was under any motion whatsoever, it was consistently treating the iPod like the headphone jack got pulled. And for those of you that don't know, whenever an iPod notices that the headphone jack got pulled, it immediately pauses the song so it doesn't continue on while, you know, there's no headphones to play it with. And so just consistently while I was walking around, the iPod would just pause all the time. And so I, I can't do that. Like, I, I wear it when I work. I'm constantly in motion. I tried it, too, with, like, four different sets of headphones, so just to make sure it wasn't the headphones. And so now I am in the interim where I had to send that back, and now hopefully they're sending me a new one. I haven't had any, heard any word about it. Like, the package was confirmed. Oops, that's air unblockable. I don't know why. I know I can't match. Ah, shit. I wanted to. Oh, I blocked that. Felt like I blocked that. Woo! No reactionary two C's, bruh. No instant blocks online, bruh. I meant to double jump and it didn't come out. Oh damn, I didn't realize I was that low on life. Okay, so never mind. Apparently the tiredness is affecting me more than I thought, because I am stupid right now. What the hell what the hell? What came out? I meant to do JB, but he did not see again, I wasn't really paying attention, but the motion he did was most definitely not fucking JB. Whoops. Okay, okay, I need to, f see, like, I, I need to figure out once and for all exactly which. Shit. I need to figure out this motherfuckers. What am I doing? What the fuck am I doing? That was such a terrible attempt. Ah! That was supposed to be a dash through TK TCL. <laughs> he just stood there. Whoopsie daisy. See, what? What the? That's some bullshit. I shouldn't have mashed. That was a bad. I, I was mashing 5B, and that's a bad normal to mash. Sorry that the lag just hit you right in the middle of your combo, bro. What? Where was. Ooh! Yeah, yeah, I tried it 2A. I, I, I will figure out eventually exactly which. What am I doing? What am I doing? I saw you moving. That might actually whiff. Because <laughs> I'm not smart. I can't believe I thought that would work. I knew he was too far away. Right when I did that, I was like, man, I'm so god like no I'm not. No, 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 I'm not. Not even a little bit. But yeah, so I, I have been for I do uh, one of the the getting the new car, because I I don't think I ever actually told this story. I wrecked my old car because I hate the region that I work in and there are all kinds of wild animals. I've seen like I don't know how many deer I have seen, but I have seen at least in the double digits. And finally, one managed to catch me. It dashed out of the forest right along the highway at uh, like 5 in the morning, pitch black. All that I saw was just like a flash in my headlights and then crunch. Told him my car. So uh, I got a new one. Uh, this is years ago. Though. This is, I think, two years ago uh, at this point. But yeah, so the best feature of that, more power, nah. Better handling, nah. More room, nah. More headroom, more legroom. You know everything, nah. Came with came with a custom deck with a with an uh, auxiliary input, and so I was able to. Um... Shit! Five B really didn't. I mean that was not five B. Two B. Two B really didn't hit that. Oh, it doesn't combo? Man. Oh, damn. 
You need to stop fucking with 5B, dude. Like, you're doing the same shit I do. You're thinking Kagura can do anything in the air. He doesn't have any air-to-air -air pokes, I think, that are, like, in any way effective. Catch the late tech? Nope. Shit! Can he not follow that up anymore? Backdash, you motherfucker. Thank you. Okay, I thought I might whiff punish that. He must not be able to follow that up anymore, because I have never seen... Oh my god, I suck. Damn it. I wanted a sentinel dump. Yeah, you're treating Kagura the same way I treat Asriel. Like, you can't... I, I don't know why I think I can get over that fucking move, but yeah, you can't air-to-air -air with Kagura. It's the same thing as me trying to go, like, air-to-air -air with Taokaka or some shit. It's just not gonna work. Damn, okay. I gotta, I gotta figure that shit out. I teched it. I always do. What the fuck? That fucking move is so irritating. I will figure this dude out. I will figure out when I can fucking hit buttons. SHIT! Oh, that was supposed to- damn it. It's supposed to be an instant air dash. Why did I try to 2C? Why did I try to 2C like 2C is a good normal against somebody with the ground normals of Kagura? The hell did I try to 2C for? Man, so I've been forced to listen to the radio now for ages and I am learning all about how most of the songs are not to sound like a fucking old ass man at this well it was the same thing back when like they back when I actually paid attention to new music the amount of songs they played on the radio just ever in comparison to songs I actually like is a very low number but I have discovered firstly again Lil John has a new song out shout out to that dude Turned down for what was held successful, and now he's back in the limelight. That dude was probably, like, dead in the water for... I mean, I know he produces a lot of music, but I, that was the first time that, like, I'd ever heard him actually be part of a song that was popular. Again, you know, doing his screaming shit. But now he's got a new song. I don't know how new it is, but it's new to me. But, uh, why does, like, all pop music now apparently have rap segments in the middle of them? Fucking killing pop music for me. I don't even like pop music that much, but, like... I will fucking figure out when I get hit. Like, I, there's so many opportunities to hit buttons against this character. What the? F I hate this character. His hitbox makes no goddamn sense. His hitbox makes no goddamn sense! I cannot- if I had instant air dash there, that would've fucking worked, but I can't do it. Can't fucking do it! Execution losing me everything! Oh, fuck off! Kagura's too slow, bro. I'm being such an asshole to this dude on Wake Up. I got him used to me mashing on Wake Up, and then I threw him. Nice call out. Good call out. Too bad Kagura doesn't have any fucking way to capitalize off that shit. Alright, I need to stop jumping. Dude, this fucker's hitbox when he does that! Oh my god, it's so irritating! Nice backdash, Nate. 
That was not at all what I wanted. Oh shit, yeah. I was- oh, I think I crossed myself up there. I was so mindfucked by that that I didn't even bother, like, paying attention to anything that was going on. I guess I crossed him up in the corner, because I did- I bait- I tried to bait that out. I held down barrier, but I guess it looked- it, from how it looked, how I got hit, it looked like he- Basically, Kagura's silly-ass DP- I don't even know, like, what's the score right now? Is it 2-1? to one? Him? 2-1 to one me? 1-1? One I don't even fucking know what the score is. I think it's 2-1 to one him. But yeah, so basically, because he has that little bit of forward momentum, that gave him enough forward momentum to, like, cross under me. And so I was blocking- I was basically blocking the wrong way. I did bait it out, though. I was- I was holding down barrier and everything. Oh, Blaze Blue. Fucking love you. You're just- you're just a sensical game. But, like, there's this song, uh, Problem, that I found out by Ariana Grande or so- I don't know how to pronounce her fucking name. Trashy pop song. Has less words in it in the regular pop song than a Lil Jon song. It's just- it's a terrible song, but it has a fantastic chorus. It's got this, uh, instrumental. I want to say saxophone, but I know nothing about actual instrumentals. Uh, fantastic instrumental. I just, I fucking love it. And then, this bitch called Iggy Azalea fucking jumps in on that bitch. Ran right into that like a motherfucker. My fault for mashing. Alright, I need to stop allowing him to- why did I not attack? Yeah, my fault, I should've baited that. It had been long enough that I should've baited that. God fucking damn it, man! Okay, so I can't jump out of that, alright. Okay, that was- that was obvious. That was obvious. See, how does- like, the 2B hitbox literally goes straight through him. Kagura's hitboxes make zero damn sense. Literally zero sense. Yeah, should have. See, I, I, I'm. I'm allowing him to do a lot of things I should not be. But I just. I'm trying to under. I, every single time I fight this character, I can make absolutely zero fucking. Oh, that was stupid of me to not just confirm straight into. See, every time I'm in the air, this dude. Oh, okay, see, this character's hitboxes make no fucking sense! I wasn't sure if that was an overhead or not, but better to be safe than sorry. What the fuck? What the fuck? How does a 5B not come out? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Let's end it on that. I'm just, I'm fucking done. I'm, fu I'm fucking done. I'm fucking done. How does mashing B not result in at least giving me something? I was literally mashing the button. At least make it so like it didn't combo or some shit. But you give me that? Are you fucking kidding me? What the fuck? I legit like nothing about the entirety of that match made sense to me. How does that happen? And I cannot make heads or tails of Kagura's hitbox. It makes no fucking sense. Like I understand now that when he does that move like that, I want to say it's probably like... 3C or some shit where he like slides his sword forward. He pulls back during that. And so that's actually that actually makes it a pretty damn good whiff punish tool because you you can you think you're in range to put him in block stun and then he pulls back and you're like no, nope. but I cannot make heads or fucking tails of what the hell is going on with his hitboxes when he's doing like stand when he's in stances they make no fucking sense to me. <laughs> that character is literally just an enigma, entirely an enigma to everything that is logical in the fucking world. I cannot make sense of him. But anyway. So yeah, that song, I love the chorus. I love the instrumental part of it. 
Ariana Grande's voice is not terrible. It's a terrible song, but like, you don't need like an intellectual fucking PhD written lyrics coming flowing into your brain at all times. Sometimes you just want a nice beat and a good, and a good voice, and you don't care about the rest of it. And then all of a sudden, this bitch that I never heard of called Iggy Azalea, who's apparently white. Nobody fucking know, but she's apparently white. And she's actually about the whitest bitch I ever done seen. But anyway, like, how do you talk like that? How do you, how are you white, but you talk like, anyway, anyway. <laughs> I just, I, I, like, every pop song in the world now has, like, a flavor of the month rapper in the middle of it. It killed, like, it used to just be Pitbull. Whenever that happened, it used to just be Pitbull. And now all of a sudden, it's everybody in the motherfucking world with that damn song. And it's killing me. Literally killing me. Because I was, I, like, like I said, it's a stupid song. Lyrics mean jack shit. But the chorus was nice. And the chorus made it worth listening to. And then here's this rap segment just infecting my fucking ears. Ruining the whole thing. Same thing with I just... Just heard a uh, Dark Horse by Katy Perry. Same exact shit. Song, the song's not exact. You know, it's not the height of lyrical like mastermind, but it's it's you know sounds nice. And all of a sudden, oh uh, hey, here's this random ass rapper you've never heard of trying to make a name for himself on somebody else's song. Get out my pop songs. I don't want to switch genres in the middle of a song. It ruins everything. Kills the flow. It's stupid, and I hate it. I hate it. Hate it all. So I just had to, had to get that off my chest, and now I'm done.